let's talk about transphobia. Why are people transphobic? A lot of people try to make it about politics, but I don't really think it's about politics. I think it's about feelings. It's an emotional reaction to having your sense of self and your worldview threatened. Namely, the idea that all humans can be neatly divided into two mutually exclusive opposite categories. Masculine men and feminine women. When people feel threatened, they react in all kinds of negative ways and they try to rationalize their emotions with obscure concepts like religion, nature or patriarchy. It gives them a sense of security to feel like they know the objective truths of life. But sometimes I just want to ask those people, who do you think you are? God? Did you create the universe and all the laws in it? Do you have access to some divine wisdom that I don't? Just be honest with yourself. What you're really afraid of is death, destruction and the unknown. You are just human like me and I know how difficult it is. We don't really know who we are, what we are, uh, what we're doing or what this is. And it seems to me that you hate to be reminded of that. And I remind you of that. And other trans people remind you of that. And therefore, you hate us. Transphobes want to tell me who I am so they can feel better about themselves. But just because I was equipped with a penis and so-called XY chromosomes at birth, I refuse to be categorized into the same box as everyone else on this planet who appears to have the same. I think categorizing human beings in that way is the result of an extremely underdeveloped understanding of the complexity of humanity. Something hurts inside transphobes when they look at a person that they can identify as trans. It affects them personally, clearly. And I understand why, because we have all grown up in a society where it's shameful to be gender non-conforming. Transphobes have seen the punishment and exclusion that transness results in. They're afraid of that. They don't want to be excluded by society, and they project that fear onto trans people. The more they distance themselves from it, the safer they feel. They try to raise themselves up by putting others down. Trans people's existence stresses them out. Our freedom of expression and self-assertion frustrates them because they have learned to live under strict rules about how they are allowed to express themselves. It's this, if I can't have it, you can't have it either kind of mentality. It's a weird form of jealousy. In reality, Many transphobes are quite fascinated by us. I and other trans people dare to do the thing that they have been told is impossible. Our courage makes them bitter. It awakens a tiny voice inside them that has been silenced their whole lives. They want us to live in the same restrictive reality as them. They are jealous of our attempt at liberating ourselves. Yes. We are all different. We have different bodies and different innate inclinations. But identity is not a question of nature versus nurture. It's both. Identity is both solid and fluid. There is a little part of me inside everyone else and vice versa. We are all overlapping whether we want to admit it or not. How can a transphobe hate a trans person if they're not afraid of the reflection they see of themselves in that trans person. Hatred ultimately stems from fear. In this case, the fear of embodying that which has been deemed wrong. Instead of putting trans people down, society should learn to embrace our invitation into liberated and fluid gender expression and sexuality. I believe the freedom to express ourselves in all 
our fullness and multiplicity will serve everyone. Transphobia is often a double standard. Transfeminine people are simultaneously marginalized and desired. The sex industry is booming with transsexual bodies, while laws are being implemented all over the world to prevent those same bodies from entering public life. There's often a thin line between violence and sex in the social interactions between transfeminine people and men. Just think of the ongoing trope in society about transfeminine people tricking men. The truth is, many trans women are murdered by men who were their intimate partners. These men were fully aware that the people they were dating or sleeping with were trans but they wanted to trick society into believing that they didn't know. And society at large buys into this lie because it wants to believe that trans people are undesirable and unlovable. I personally have not been intimate with a single man in my life who wasn't ashamed of his attraction to me. Some of those men even ridiculed me in public. And still, transphobes will tell me I'm the confused one. That is one big projection. The transphobic men of this world need to pick a side. Do you believe transfeminine people are disgusting men in women's clothing? Or are you really just repressing your own sexuality and gender? To conclude, I just want to say this. Trans people cannot be blamed for society's trans panic. Transphobes need to ask themselves why transness bothers them so much. We all need to heal from our internalized transphobia. Transphobes don't need to have their say in the media or in politics. They need therapy.